Chapter 17 The Book on Legal Punishments Al Hudud Chapter 1 What has been related about those from whom punishment is not required? Narrated Ali That the Messenger of Allah said The pen has been lifted from free for the sleeping person until he awakens for the boy until he becomes a young man and for the men and for the mentally insane until he regains sanity great hassan chapter 2 what has been related about averting legal punishments narrated aisha that the messenger of allah avert the legal penalties from the Muslims as much as possible if he has a way out then leave him to his way for if the Imam makes a mistake in forgiving it would be better than making a mis than making mistake in punishment great Daif another chain which is similar to the narration of Muhammad bin Rabia a, nar a narrator in number 1424 but he did not narrate it in Marfi form. Great Daif. Chapter 3 What has been related about covering the faults of the Muslim? Narrated Abu Huraira That the Messenger of Allah said, Whoever relieves a Muslim of a burden from the burdens of the world, Allah will relieve, will relieve him of a burden from the burdens of the hereafter. And whoever covers the faults of a mu and whoever covers the faults of a Muslim, Allah will cover his faults for him in the world and the hereafter. And Allah is engaged in helping the worshipper as long as the worshipper is engaged in helping his brother. Great Sahih. <laughs> Abal uh, Abad bin Muhammad reported it from Al Amas, who said. It has been narrated to me from Abu Sali, from Abu Huraira, from the Prophet, and it is similar. It is as if this is more correct than the first narration. Another chain for this hadith. Great Sahih. Narrated Ibn Umar that the Messenger of Allah said, The Muslim is the brother of the Muslim. He doesn't oppress him and doesn't put him into ruin. And whoever is concerned for the needs of his brother, Allah is concerned concerned for his needs. And whoever relieves a Muslim of a burden, Allah will relieve him of a burden from the burdens of the day of judgment. And whoever covers the faults of a Muslim, Allah will cover his faults on the day of judgment. Great Sahih. <laughs> Chapter 4 what has been related about prompting in cases of the legal punishments? Narrated Ibn Abbas that the Prophet said to Maiz bin Malik, Is what has reached me about you true? He said, What has reached you about me? He said, It has reached me that you had relations with the slave maid of the family of so and so. He said, Yes. So he testified four times. And he gave the order that he be stoned. Great Sahih. Chapter 5 What has been related about averting the legal punishment from the one who confessed it? Who, from the one who confessed if he changes his mind. Narrated Abu Huraira. Maiz al Aslamu came to the Messenger of Allah and said that he had committed adultery, so he turned away from him. Then he approached from his other side and said, O Messenger of Allah, I have committed adultery. So he turned away from him. Then he came from his other side and said, O Messenger of Allah, I have committed adultery. So he gave the order for stoning upon the fourth time. He was taken to al Hara and stoned with rocks. He ran swiftly until he passed a man with a camel whip who beat him with it. And the people beat him until he died. They mentioned to the Messenger of Allah that he ran upon feeling the rocks at the time of death. So the Messenger of Allah said, Why didn't you leave him? Great Hassan. 
narrated Jabir bin Abdullah, a man from the tribe of Aslam came to the Prophet and confessed adultery. He turned away from him. Then he confessed again. Then he turned away from him again until he had testified against himself four times. So the Prophet said, Are you insane? He said, No. He said, Are you married? He said, Yes. So he gave the order and he was stoned at the Musalla. He ran when he was stuck by the stones and he was caught and stoned until he died. So the Messenger of Allah spoke well of him, but he did not perform the funeral salat for him. Great Sahih. Chapter 6 What has been related about it being disliked to intercede in legal punishments? Narrated Aisha The Quraysh were troubled by the affair of a woman from the tribe of Maksum. who stole. So they said, who will speak about her to the Messenger of Allah? They said, who can do it other than Usama bin Said, the one dear to the Messenger of Allah? So Usama spoke with him. The Messenger of Allah said, do you intercede about a penalty from Allah's penalty? Then he stood up and addressed the people saying, those before you were only destroyed because they used to leave a noble person if he stole and if a weak person stole they would establish the penalty upon him and by Allah if Fatima bint Muhammad stole then, then I will cut off her hand. Great Sahih Chapter 7 What has been related about confirming stoning? Umay bin al Khattab said, The Messenger of Allah stoned Abu Bakr, stoned, and I stoned. If I didn't dislike that, I add to the Book of Allah. I would have written it in the Mushaf. For I fear that there will come a people and they will not find it in the book of Allah. So they will disbelieve in it. Great Sahih. Umar bin al Khattab said, Verily Allah sent Muhammad with the truth and he revealed the book to him. Among what was revealed to him was the ayah of stoning. So the messenger of Allah stoned and we stoned after him. I fear that time will pass over the people such that some will say we do not see stoning in the book of Allah they will be misguided by leaving an obligation which Allah revealed indeed stoning is their retribution for the adulterer if he was married and the evidence has been established or due to pregnancy or confession great sahih <laughs> chapter 8 what has been related about stoning the married adulterer narrated Ubaidullah bin Abdullah bin Utbah that he heard from Abu Huraira, Said bin Khalid and Shibi uh, and Shibel that they were with the Prophet and two men came to him disputing so one of them stood before him and said I ask you by Allah O Messenger of Allah only that you would judge between us by the Book of Allah so his, disputant, so his disputant said and he was more eloquent than that, that him. I agree of O Messenger of Allah, judge between us by the Book of Allah and allow me to speak. My son was a servant for this man and he committed adultery with his wife. So they told me that my son was to be stoned. I paid him 100 female sheep and a female slave. Then I met some people from the people of knowledge and they said that my son was to be lashed 100 times and to be banished for a year and that stoning is only for this man's wife. So the prophet said, 
by the one in whose hand is my soul. I will judge between you two by the book of Allah, the 100 female sheep. And the female slave should be returned to you, for your son is 100 lashes and banishment for a year. O Unais, go to this man's wife, and if she confesses, then stone her. He went to her, and she confessed, so he stoned her. Great Sahih. <laughs> Another chain with similar. Great Sahih. Another chain with similar. Great Sahih. Narrated Ubada bin al Samit. The Messenger of Allah said, Take from me, for Allah has a way made for them. For the married person who commits adultery with a married person is 100 lashes, then stoning. And for the virgin who commits adultery with a virgin is 100 lashes and banishment for a year. Great Sahih. Chapter 9. Something else about that refraining from stoning the pregnant woman until she gives birth. Narrated Imran bin Hussein. A woman from Juhena confessed before the Prophet that she had committed adultery and she said, I am pregnant. So the Prophet called for her guardian and said, Be good to her, and if she gives birth to her child, then tell me. So he did so, and then he gave the order that her clothes be bound tightly around her. Then he ordered her to be stoned, and she was stoned. Then he performed funeral salat for her. So Umar bin al khattab said to him, O Messenger of Allah, you stoned her, then you prayed for her. He said, She has repented a repentance that, if distributed among 70 of the people of Al Madina, it would have suffice them. Have you ever seen something more virtuous than her sacrificing herself for the, sa for the sake of Allah? Great Sahih. Chapter 10 What has been related about stoning the people of the book narrated Ibn Umar that the Messenger of Allah stoned a Jew and a stoned a Jew and Jewess Great Sahih Narrated Jabir bin Samura that the Prophet stoned a Jew and a Jewess Great Sahih Chapter 11 What has been related about banishment narrated Ibn Umar that the Messenger of Allah lashed and banished, Abu Bakr lashed and banished, and Umar lashed and banished, Great Sahih. Some of them reported this hadith from Ubaidullah from Nafi from Ibn Umar that Abu Bakr lashed and banished and that Umar lashed and banished. Chapter 12 What has been related about the legal punishments are atonement for those who received them. Narrated Ubada bin Asamit. We were with the Prophet in a gathering and he said, Pledge to me that you will not associate anything as partners with Allah and that you will not steal nor commit adultery. He recited to them the ayah and he said, Whoever among you dies, then this reward is with Allah and whoever among you does not and whoever among you does some of this, and then he is punished. It is atonement for him, and whoever does some of this, and Allah covers it for him, then it is up to Allah if he wills, he will punish them, and if he wills, he will forgive them. Great Sahih. Chapter 13. What has been related about establishing legal punishments upon the slave girl? Narrated Abu Huraira that the Messenger of Allah said, If one of your slave girl commits illegal sexual intercourse, <coughs> then whip her three times according to the Book of Allah, and if she does it again, then sell her, even if it is for a rope made of hair. Great Hassan. Narrated Abu Abdur Rahman as Sulami. Ali gave a kutbah and said, O oh people, establish the penalties upon your slaves, those married from them, and those unmarried. A slave girl of the Prophet committed illegal sexual intercourse, 
so he ordered me to whip her. I went to her and she was just experiencing her postnatal bleeding, so I feared that if I were to whip her, I would kill her, or he said she would die. So I went to the messenger of Allah and I told that to him, so he said, you did well, great Sahih. Chapter 14 what has been related about legal punishment for the drunkard narrated Abu Sayyid al-Qudri that the messenger of Allah implemented the penalty by beating 40 times with two shoes Misad, one of the narrators, said it think it was for wine great Daif narrated Anas that a man who had drunk wine was brought to the Prophet so he beat him about 40 times with two stalks of a palm tree. So Abu Bakr did similarly and by the time Umar became Khalifa, he sought counsel from the people. And Abdur Rahman bin Av said, I see that the lightest penalty is 80 lashes, so Umar ordered that. Great Sahih. Chapter 15 What has been related about whoever drinks wine then lash him and whoever does it a fourth time then kill him? Narrated Muawiyah that the messenger of Allah said whoever drinks wine then lash him if he returns to it then on the fourth time kill him. Great Hassan <laughs> Chapter 16 What has been related about for how much wealth is the thief's hand cut off? Narrated Aisha that the Prophet used to cut uh, used to cut the hand for a fourth of a dinar and beyond that. Great Sahih. Narrated Ibn Umar, the Messenger of Allah cut the hand for a shield worth three dirham. Great Sahih. Chapter 17. What has been related about hang, hanging the hand of the thief around his neck? Abdur Rahman bin Muhadis said, I asked Fadala bin Ubaid about hanging the hand around the neck of the thief. Is this from the Sunnah? He said, A man came to the Messenger of Allah with a thief, so his hand was cut off, and then he ordered that it be hung around his neck. Great Daif. Chapter 18 What has been related about the traitor, the embezzler and the plunderer narrated Jabir that the Prophet said There is no cutting of the hand for the traitor or the embezzler nor the plunderer great Sahih Chapter 19. What has been related about not cutting the hand for date, fruits or palm marrow? Narrated Rafi bin Khadij That he heard the Messenger of Allah say, There is no cutting of the hand for fruits or palm marrow. Great Sahih. Chapter 20. What has been related about the hands not no being cut in battles. Narrated Busser bin Arta that the Prophet said the hands are not cut in the battles. Great Sahih. Chapter 21 What has been related about a man having relations with the slave girl of his wife? Habib bin Salim said A man was brought to Aunt Numan bin Bashir who had relations with the, with the slave girl of his wife. He said, I give you judgment about her case according to the judgment of the Messenger of Allah. If she made her lawful for him, then I will lash him 100 times. And if she did not make her lawful, then I will stone him. Great Hassan. <laughs> Another chain from Al Numan bin Bashir with similar great Hassan. Chapter 22. What has been related? What has been relates about a woman who is forced to commit adultery? 
Narzid Abdul Jabbar bin Wail bin Hujjid, that his father said, a woman was forced to commit illegal sexual relations during the time of the Messenger of Allah. The Messenger of Allah did not enforce the legal punishment upon her, but he enforced it upon the one who had done it to her. And the narrator did not mention him assigning a tavri to her. Great Daif. Narrated Al Kama bin Wail al Kindi. From his father, a woman went out during the time of the Prophet to go to Salat, but she was caught by a man and he had relations with her, so she screamed and he left. Then a man came across her and she said, that man has done this and that to me. Then she came across a group of emigrants, Muhajirin, Muhajirin and she said, that man did this and that to me. They went to get the man she thought had relations with her and they brought him to her. She said, yes, that's him. So they brought him to the messenger of Allah. And when he ordered that he be stoned, the man who had relations with her said, O messenger of Allah, I am the one who had relations with her. So he said to her, go, go for Allah has forgiven you. Then he said some nice words to the man who was brought. And he said to the man who had relations with her, stone him. Then he said, he has repented a repentance that if the inhabitants of Al Madina had repented with, it would have been accepted from them. Great Hassan. Chapter 23. What has been related about one who commits bestiality? Narrated Ibn Abbas. That the Messenger of Allah said, Whomever you see having relations with an animal, then kill him and kill animal. So it was said to Ibn Abbas, What is the case of the animal? He said, I did not hear anything from the Messenger of Allah about this, but I see that the Messenger of Allah disliked eating its meat or using it, due to the fact that such a heinous thing has been done with that animal. Great Hassan Sufyan at Favri reported from Asim from Abu Rasin from Ibn Abbas who said whoever has relations with beast then there is no legal punishment for him Great Hassan Chapter 24 what has been related about the punishment of the Sodomite? Narrated Ibn Abbas That the Messenger of Allah said Whomever you find doing the actions of the people of Lut Then kill the one doing it And the one it is done to Great Hassan Narrated Jabir That the Messenger of Allah said What I fear most from my Ummah is the behavior of the people of Lut Great Daif Chapter 25 What has been related about the apostate? Narrated Ikrima That Ali burnt some people who apostatized who, aposta, who apostatized from Islam This news reached Ibn Abbas So he said If it were me I would have killed them according to the statement of the me According to the statement of Messenger of Allah The Messenger of Allah said Whoever changes his religion then kill him and I would not have burned them because the Messenger of Allah said, Do not punish with the punishment of Allah. So this reached Ali and he said, Ibn Abbas has told the truth. Great Sahih. Chapter 26 What has been related about one who brandishes a weapon? Narrated Abu Musa that the Prophet said, Whoever carries weapons against us, he is not from us. Great Sahih. Chapter 27 What has been related about the legal punishment for the Sahir? Narrated Jundab That he heard the Messenger of Allah saying The punishment of the Sahir is a strike of the sword, Great Daif Chapter 28 
what has been related about the one who steals from the spoils of war and what is to be done to him. Narrated Umar that the Messenger of Allah said, Whomever you find stealing from the spoils of war while in the path of Allah, then burn his belongings. Salih, one of the narrators, said, I entered upon Maslama, and with him was Salim bin Abdullah. There was a man there who had stolen from the spoils of war. So Salim narrated this hadith, so he ordered accordingly, and his belongings were burnt. There was a mushaf in his belongings, so Salim said, Sell this and give its proceeds as charity, great Daif. Chapter 29 What has been related about one who says to another, O oh, you effeminate? Narrated Ibn Abbas that the Prophet said, If a man says to another man, O oh, you Jew, then beat him twenty times. If he says, O oh, you effeminate, then beat him twenty times. And whoever has relations with someone that is a maram, then kill him. Great Daif. Chapter 30 What has been related about at tasir unregulated punishments? Narrated Abi Burda bin Niyar that the Messenger of Allah said, No one is to be lashed more than ten lashes except for a legal punishment among Allah's punishments. Great Sahih. 